Public and charter school districts here in Texas are being told to review safety and security procedures and how they would respond to a campus tragedy following last week's school shooting at Mansfield's Timberview High School. Fox 4's Sean Rabb joins us live. Hello, Sean. And good evening to you, Clarice. The School Safety Center at Texas State University gives districts guidance uh, around holistic measures to try and prevent, best practices to try and prevent and then respond to these kinds of on-campus crisis, the worst kind of school shooting. And sadly, this is not the first time that they've had to send out these kinds of safety measures email. We've put out similar guidance to Texas school districts following a, a tragic event that such as it took place at Mansfield ISD. One week after a classroom fight and shooting left four injured on the second floor of Timberview High School, this guidance email Wednesday to more than 1,000 Texas school districts, urging districts to review safety and security plans. You know, when you think about your safety and security procedures, you are looking at your emergency operations plan and integrated into that is what is going to be our response when something like this happens? Mansfield ISD has responded with increased security measures that are part of the safety center's guidance. The superintendent's letter to parents saying the school district's police department partnering with other law enforcement to have more officers on its 46 campuses. One of the main reasons we want law enforcement in schools is not as a, as a deterrent uh, necessarily to, to impact crime. Uh, you want them to be there as someone that children or the students feel safe in, uh, in giving information and providing information. And trained security staff will monitor high traffic in common areas through video surveillance to better have control over campus access. Metal detector wands will be randomly used to check for weapons at MISD middle and high schools. I believe that wands are more effective actually uh, in, in this effort than metal detectors are. The recommendations also encourage districts to be prepared also, to quickly know, communicate to school to parents and the community if something happens. We've been having a lot of social media comments about threats. And cautions what? districts should expect what it calls the contagion effect. An increase in rumors of violence and threats against other schools like we saw happen the day of Timberview's incident. And so all of those threats should be taken seriously. Um, but it's something that school districts need to think about in the coming days, the coming weeks and months. School districts have to do all they can to make the schoolhouse a safe house. Students will be successful academically um, when the foundation of a safe and healthy school climate um, is in place. Now, school districts are also required to have in place in Texas what's called behavioral threat assessment teams, comprised of administrators, coaches, teachers, and law enforcement. Their real mission, Clarice, is to try to identify students having a problem, somebody acting out or who suddenly become withdrawn or not doing well in school suddenly. Try to see if they have a problem that they can address before it becomes a bad decision. 